Now back here at home, this is a live look at Narragansett where as you can see it's rough out there. There were rip current warnings today, but this is not the result of Florence. However, this could change later this week. There are concerns for huge waves from Florence expected late on Wednesday. High surf advisories have been issued for later this week. I would assume supporter Eric Halpern is live in Narragansett with how officials are preparing for the storm's possible impacts. Eric. Mike and Shannon, Town Beach is empty right now, but throughout the day, some groups of people were stopping by, walking the beach, some even getting in to go surfing. This is the community that looks ahead to the potential impacts the hurricane could have on the waters here later this week. Surfers off Narragansett Town Beach taking advantage of the conditions on a more fall-like day. The waves and moderate risk of rip currents on Monday are not due to Florence. Surfer of 50 years Charles Buchanan is waiting until at least the weekend before he takes on the waters. Not until the wind goes offshore. Swells from the hurricane could reach the coast of southern New England by late Wednesday or Thursday, leading to high surf and rip currents through the end of the week. I would say only experienced surfers go out, um, go out with a buddy. The Narragansett Fire Department is already taking steps ahead of possible impacts. According to Chief Scott Partington, experienced surfers who may brave the waters aren't as big of a concern as onlookers trying to catch a glimpse of bigger waves maybe going out on the jetties. The onlookers who come down to the jetties, the rocks, and um, get caught up in the sightseeing of the waves and get swept off into the rocks. He says that's happened many times over the years. Later this week, he says they'll be putting up some barricades in places to discourage people from getting too close. It sets up just a uh, somewhat of a deterrence and a situational alertness uh, for the residents who come down here. Also reminding beachgoers, swimmers, surfers, and onlookers alike, no matter what the weather is this week, lifeguards are not on duty. And again, these conditions here right now are not due to Florence, but it is already having an impact on travel. Coming up new at 6, more on what some airlines are already doing. Live in Narragansett, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. And tonight, the Red Cross says nearly 3,000 volunteers from Rhode Island and Connecticut are heading south to help in preparations for Florence. Red Cross says they will likely need more volunteers in the days ahead. And today, the Navy ordered 30 ships in Norfolk, Virginia to leave port and ride out the storm at sea. Thousands of people in North and South Carolina also being told to evacuate. And Florence could cause major travel disruptions up and down the East Coast. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern continues our team coverage now live from Narragansett. Eric. Mike and Shannon, like Tony was saying, the current conditions here in Narragansett are not due to Florence. But even though the, the storm is still far away, it's already having an impact on travel. The Block Island ferries stuck in port. All traditional and high speed ferries canceled Monday due to adverse sea conditions. Although those conditions are not due to Hurricane Florence. Swells from that storm could reach our coasts by late Wednesday or Thursday, leading to high surf and rip currents through the end of the week. Big waves, rough water, you gotta be really careful. However, the airline industry is already adjusting because of Hurricane Florence. Southwest is giving some customers the option to change plans depending on airports they were set to fly through in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia. Other major airlines are expected to do the same. Narragansett can be a popular spot to check out bigger waves. If you'll be down in that area when more of the storm's effects are expected, Fire Chief Scott Partington has some advice. Don't go out on the rocks or jetties. The rip currents and the storm uh, surf is very powerful and it can wash them away at any time. He says some barricades will be put up to discourage that and also wants to remind everyone there are no lifeguards on duty this time of year. And back to possible travel impacts, one of the biggest pieces of advice from AAA is if you do have a flight that could be affected, call your airline. Live in Narragansett, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.